Hello ladies, I just finished filming a new rebounding video. So I thought I would pop on camera because there's been something I wanted to talk to you guys about and it's coffee, coffee and how it affects your hormones. Cause people are always saying, you know, oh, my hormones are out of control. I don't feel good. And I just, you know, there's so many topics we could talk about, but today it just hit me. I wanted to talk about coffee, go figure. So. I'm gonna give you one tip you can start doing today that's gonna to help your hormones. And that is if your coffee or even a tea drinker, tea with caffeine especially, is to not drink it first thing in the morning. That's like one of the worst things you could do for your body, for your adrenals. Um, because what, you've been sleeping all night, right? Your body is finally in that rest, relax, rebuild, repair state. And if you're waking up, it really wants to flush everything out that it's it's been cleaning all night long, right? So if the first thing we give it is coffee, which is dehydrating, which if it's not organic, it is one of the most highly sprayed um, crops there is. So really it's time to start switching if, to an organic coffee. And I um, lost my train of thought there for a second. And so what happens when you drink that coffee? You're bringing in the caffeine, you're disrupting your nervous system. It's like, ah, you know, and you might not feel it anymore because if you've been drinking caffeine for a long time, go back. Can you think about the first time you ever had coffee or caffeinated drink, right? You felt that zing, that buzz but you don't feel it anymore because your body has been so accustomed to it. But what's happening is it's still happening. That buzz feeling, that zinging throughout your whole body. And if you haven't eaten anything, it's gonna send your blood sugar skyrocketing up. And um, that's gonna cause fat, fat storage, fat storage to happen. Your insulin, your cortisol, it's gonna be shooting up. So. Not saying give up your coffee. Trust me, I know for many, many people, it's like a ritual and they really enjoy it. And I'm one of them, I, I like coffee. But the one thing that you can do starting today, tomorrow, um, is switch the time that you start drinking your coffee. So when you wake up, best thing to do is to drink a big glass of water with lemon in it. I'm even gonna show you the, the drink that I do, but it's water, lemon, I um, shred some ginger in it, and a little bit of raw honey. That's great to detoxify the body, get some glucose into the system, but it's glucose that your body knows what to do with, so it's not gonna psh, spike everything up. And save your coffee until after you've eaten something or while you're eating something. That's gonna be a huge, huge difference and that will help to balance your cortisol levels. And cortisol is the fat storage hormone. And especially when um, you know we get into our 40s, our 50s, our 60s, the body's changing. We need to adapt and we do not want it to store as belly fat. All right, that's one of my, my hormone tips for the day. All right, leave me a comment and let me know if you watched it <laughs> and um, what your thoughts are. All right. Have a fit and fabulous day, everyone. Bye-bye.